Hey everyone, my name's Pupsker, and today in Warframe, we're gonna go over how you can get Mastery Rank fast in Warframe. If you don't know, Mastery Rank is essentially your account level in Warframe. I'm Mastery Rank Legendary 3, which means I'm Mastery Rank 33, essentially. It is what you need to have higher daily caps, and just essentially to be able to farm more every day, you get some free stuff out of it, and uh, once you start leveling everything in the game, your Mastery Rank will shoot through the roof. If you scroll over your Mastery Rank in your profile, you can actually get a Mastery Rank breakdown for your entire account. As we can see here, Mastery Rank from highest to lowest is Warframes, or I should just say in the breakdown list, not highest to lowest, is Warframes. We have a lot of primary weapons, secondary weapons, and melees. A little bit out of kit guns. We have a good chunk from running missions and running steel path missions. That is simply completing the game and playing through everything. We have Railjack Intrinsics. That's for the Railjack mode, leveling up your Railjack, essentially. We have Drifter Intrinsics, and that is for the duvet paradox essentially leveling up and putting all your skill points in do very paradox okay we have arc wing arc gun all the sentinels and companions and sentinel weapons and then arc melee gun amps k drive necromech everything in warframe that you can level up to like 30 or 40 gives you mastery rank the first time you level it up to the max level or like the first time you level it to something so regular weapons and warframes you level them up to 30 there you've gotten all the mastery rank out of them you form it just to be able to mod it more usually but there are also weapons such as kuva tenant weapons parasesis and a handful of just random things which you can level up to level 40 using five formas and to level it up to 40 will be when you completely unlock all the mastery rank for that in warframe so now that we've talked about essentially the entire list of how to get mastery rank let's go over everything that you can do to get mastery rank quickly in warframe so that you can get an insanely high account level early on when you start warframe the first thing you're going to want to do to get master rank is just straight up play through the game and level up whatever weapons in warframe you can possibly get so you start warframe on earth when you start on earth you slowly complete every node you go to the venus junction you go to the mars junction and from there you slowly complete the star chart in warframe leveling up or sorry i should say completing a planet will give you a good chunk of mastery rank most planets have an assassination node, which you can see they kind of have these eyeball looking, uh, I should say, visuals for each assassination node. Most assassination nodes for Warframe on every planet is one way to farm a Warframe, such as Frost, Excalibur, uh, Mag, what have you. I can't remember the specific ones and which bosses they go with, but each assassination node in Warframe usually is a boss that'll drop a Warframe. So you can farm those to get Warframes and build them in your foundry across every planet as you complete the game. And Warframe is also one of those games that has many open worlds with many weapons and Warframes to collect, such as Fortuna, on Earth we have Cetus Plains of Eidolon, on Deimos here we have the Necrolis, Cambian Drift, as well as Assassination Node. So that's my general advice for obtaining Master Rank early on in the game. Play through each node of the world, collect the Warframes and random weapons from each little area via fighting the assassination nodes and complete the junctions and complete quests as you do that once you complete the junctions you'll slowly unlock more quests and whenever you get a quest you're gonna want to do the quest such as this mercury junction that gets you howl of the kubro and the quest once awake that's how you can get kubros and kavats essentially a bolt or blueprint right you just progress your way through the game do the junctions build the uh, gear that you get from there, and then from there, you should be good to go. That's the general starting collection of Master Rank. Go through the planets everywhere and collect that. You can also get primes later on when you go to the void and unlock void fissures. It's just the void's like easier to form, uh, farm all the uh, Fisher items, the relics, sorry. But later on, you'll unlock everything, uh, Railjack eventually, Duviri Paradox to farm stuff, and Zeremin. But 
That'll take a lot of time, so to start off, just collect weapons, warframes, and complete all of the star chart. The next massive source of mastery rank is right here, the market in Warframe. If you go to Warframes in the market, you can hide items without blueprints and you can pick up the blueprints for all of the warframes and then some of them you'll be able to buy most of them you'll have to pretty much farm up the individual areas but you can purchase the blueprints for your warframes more importantly though early on in warframe you can purchase blueprints for a ton of weapons and then the weapons you can straight up build in your foundry you can have as many things building at one time so early on you'll want to get stuff like the bow quickly build that upgrade it to max level that's the mastery rank get the bronco get the bolto get the ballista these are all low master rank weapons if you just go to weapons hide items without blueprints i would recommend this if you're free to play click on an item and then check the blueprint cost credits buy it with credits and then build up the weapons this is how you get a ton of master rank early on in warframe see you see a ton of weapons like the bronco act bronco angstrom right they're generally low mastery rank weapons that you can unlock and build somewhat early on the burst in right the uh corinth is pretty good once you get mr8 some of them will be higher mr mr5 others will be lower but you can always hide things you owned as well as hide things that are mastered that's just a bad idea for me because i have most things complete so that is a massive source of early on warframe master rank the insane amount of companions right weapons warframes and items in here that you can build to level up and then get master rank from them so as you can see a ton of the warframe companions here not all of them you can buy if we hide without blueprints we can see you can blueprint build a lot of these right here isn't that amazing like six companions one two three four five six boom that's a ton of mastery rank so always check around in warframe and make sure to use your general shop in order to buy blueprints, build uh, weapons, warframes, companions, and get master rank. And just always check around because there's a lot of different slots and areas such as Arcwing and some things you might be able to build there, right? Just warframes, weapons, equipments, companions, bundles even. Even if you don't wanna spend platinum, a lot of things you just click on it, credits. So keep that in mind. The next big source of Master Rank in Warframe is actually a dojo. Even if you are a single or pretty anti-social player in Warframe, I would recommend everyone in the game joins a clan. It's almost damn near 100% needed to join a clan in Warframe to unlock such a wide variety of things. In clans, they have their own shops, they have their own trading posts, they have areas for railjack, so in a clan is where you unlock a ton of railjack things, weapons, Warframes, companions, yet again in order to both level up your master rank and just get a ton stronger. So early on into the game, once you unlock a clan, you can go to a ton of different dojo areas. So this is Research Grenier, this is in the Chem Lab. I think it's mainly the Chem, Bio, and Tenno Lab, which has some stuff to build and use, but you can also go to the Vent Kids Bash Lab, that's where you can build Ureli, the Ghoul Saw, so Warframe and Weapon right there, right out of the gate. We have Dagus Hollow, which is where you can build a Warframe Dagath and her weapon, the Doorclave, so another Warframe has its own spot. And then we have stuff like, again, the Chem Lab. As you can see here, a ton of weapons that are low to medium, or just low MR in general, under like 10 or maxing out around 10, 3, 7, 11, ooh, 7, 7. So there's a ton of lower master rank items here that is great for everyone to get, such as Ignis, Ignis Wraith, Grinlock, right? All of these are so good to grab the twin Croker or later on, that MR5. So it's great at master rank fodder buy and blue uh replicate the blueprints here build them in your foundry and then you're good to go if we then go to the bio lab we can see here even more weapons most of these since it's a bio lab are like kind of infested themed so you have a lot of cool infested weapons you have really good weapons such as bubonico at a higher mastery rank at 13 but you also have a companion such as the Jin that you can get at level one you have stuff like the hema which is also a pretty good weapon oh god we have to 
finish off looks like researching that. We still have a handful of things. Then you have stuff like the Torrid, really good. Mios, really strong. So there's a lot of weapons in here you should build. And a lot that you might end up loving or using or just using for Master Rank even. If you don't end up liking them, that's okay. Here in the Research Tenno Lab, we have even more weapons, but more importantly, we have Warframes. So we have the Warframe Banshee right here. We have the Grav Mag Research, a ton of items. Ciphers, very important in order to instantly complete uh, some hacking and like doors and stuff. It's great. Would recommend. Nija, we have Volt. All very strong Warframes. Banshee's a really good Warframe if you like her playstyle. Not a fan myself, but she is still really good. Nijaw's a really strong Warframe as well. Volt's a really strong Warframe as well. Wukong's really strong. Zephyr's really strong. Ton of these are really strong Warframes if you like their playstyle. And you can build a ton of arc wings in the clan tenno lab as well so there's dang near a hundred items right there to build and if you didn't know if you go to your profile and equipment there's about 720 items to fully level up in warframe in total for mastery rank maybe a little bit more a little bit less depending on if you've collected the items that don't show up there inherently but there are a lot of items to grab in Warframe, and that means a lot of different areas to level up. Leveling in Warframe is still very simple of just play the game, use items that you want to level up, and use skills or weapons if you plan to level them. And that's what I would say is the main point there. So for the final place in Warframe, which I would say is amazing for Master Rank, I wanted to talk about very specifically Duviri Paradox itself. Once you, I believe, complete Vor's quest, get a little bit into the game, once you do Duviri Paradox in Warframe, this is a really good Warframe leveling up spots, or to get Master Rank, I should say, to get a lot of Warframes. You can get a lot of weapons, as well as you can get your Duviri Master Rank itself. On the circuit every single day, you get a choice of three Warframes, I should say every week, and you can farm up one Warframe a week. You can farm up the entirety of the Warframe, then build them in your foundry, and then level them up for Master Rank. And there's like 30 or so Warframes you can get this way. New daily, weekly farm that Warframe is introduced into the game. It's an amazing farm for Master Rank, and I would honestly recommend that everyone do this if you have the chance. And if you're early on in the game and don't want to do Duvary Paradox, honestly, that's fine. It's a long quest. It takes quite some time, and it's very confusing. So once you do unlock Duvary Paradox, I would 100% recommend that. You get random loadouts, and you need to level up your Duvary Paradox loadout, as well as get a ton of weapons through Duvary paradox weapons and warframes and such and then you can level those because in duveri there are just straight up weapons and items you can get as well so those are all really good areas and sections of the game where you can get so much mastery rank so quickly that it'll boost up an early to mid level account from like starter mastery rank to like 15 20 right out the gate because in the clan in the shop through general gameplay on the star chart and even duviri paradox that's honestly probably 75 to 80 percent of the warframes and weapons right there just like the clan the market it, and then Duveri Paradox. Huge way to get most Warframes, but once you start farming up individual items, Warframes, and assassination nodes on the map, boy, you're gonna get everything done so fast. So that is the brunt of Mastery Rank farming in Warframe. Let me know what you think. If you liked it, as always, like, subscribe, and if you want to support the channel, you can use Epic Games Creator Code Pupsker if you ever buy anything on the Epic Games Store. It always helps out, so I do appreciate that. Thank you all for watching, subbing, and checking out any of the social medias in the description below and I will see you next time. Cheers.